Hello, I'm Tim Doria, and today we're going to look at how to create a random sample in Excel. Okay, so I have an Excel spreadsheet that contains uh, data, records, about 200 records in this case. Uh, we only have one column here that includes the record number, but you could have as many columns as your data set includes. So the first step is we need to create a new column at the end, and we'll call it random, doesn't matter what you name it. Click enter, and then we're going to type in equals R-A-N-D, open close parentheses. So this is a function in Excel that creates or generates a random value on the fly. We're going to click enter, and you can see it just generated a random value. Now to create random values for each row, which is what we need to do here, all you need to do is click on the cell that you just typed in R-A-N-D, and you'll notice that the lower right-hand corner of that cell is kind of this little square there. We're going to just double-click on that. And what that does is it repeats that formula, the RAND formula, down to the very end of our data set. So you can see it stopped at the 200th observation, or rather the 201st row in this case, including the header. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the top. We want to highlight the entire column, so I just clicked on B up here. I'm going to do Control C, which means I'm copying the entire column. And I'm going to go here to Paste and click on paste values. Now what this did is it took the values that were generated from that fun Excel function, the RAND function, and it replaced the function with the actual value generated by the function. And the reason why we're doing this is that each time you refresh the page, the RAND function will actually generate a new random value in each one of the 200 rows that you're doing. So in this case, what we did was we wanted to just replace the function with the actual value generated in this instance. Okay, the next step is we're going to highlight all of our data, and we're going to go to Data, and we're going to click on Sort. Now, depending on what version of Excel you're using, it might be the Sort uh, command might be located in a different location, but just find the Sort. Now, the trick here is we're going to sort on the random value that we just generated the column of random values that we just generated. The order doesn't matter, so we're just going to keep the default, and we're going to click OK. And you'll see that now it sorted all of our rows in order from lowest to highest random value. Now, say if you needed to generate 10 random values or wanted to sample 10 records randomly from your data set, all you need to do now is just take the top 10 records and because we were using a random value to sort, these 10 records now represent a random sampling of your 200 row data set. Okay? If you wanted to sample 20 records, you simply take the top 20 records. And that's the trick to taking a random sample in Excel.